What is going on guys? Welcome to our kitchen and once again we are bringing to you another Disney recipe and this week we are making cinnamon rolls from Gaston Stavron. From Gaston, show your pipes. <laughs> Let's go. So we are starting by melting half a cup of butter with a cup and a half of milk. Oh, things are about to get serious. In a mixing bowl, you put two and a half cups of flour. So next is half an ounce of rapid yeast. Then half a cup of sugar one teaspoon of salt and then when you realize that your bowl is not big enough transfer in a bigger bowl once the butter is melted place it in the fridge and wait until it cools off i think it's gonna go faster if you close the fridge Start by adding half a cup of water, two eggs, and when your mixture is cooler, add the milk and butter that was previously in the fridge. All right, so we need to build it up to six and a half cups of flour. In the beginning, we did two and a half cups. So half cup at a time, keep mixing in. At the end, it's gonna get super thick. Probably gonna kill my mixer. So I'll have to switch to the spoon. <laughs> Babe, is it time to buy me a KitchenAid mixer yet? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have big arms just like Gaston. When you're satisfied with your dough, place it back in the bowl and cover it for 10 minutes. So while your dough is rising, it's time to make the filling. So we start with two cups of brown sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and a cup of unsalted butter. Do you guys remember in the, our pretzel, uh, Mickey pretzel video that I'm gonna link right here? Um, we didn't have a rolling pin. Well, we still don't have one. That's all we got. Well, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this one works better than the other bottle. Yeah, last time we used like a water bottle, but see, you don't need a rolling pin. It's debatable. When your dough is nice and flat, it's time to put your filling and even it out. Now it's time to jelly roll it. Those are gonna be massive. And just before the oven, we are adding a little bit, just a little bit of melted butter on top of them. A quarter of a cup. And because the actual size of the Gaston's uh, cinnamon bun are, are ridiculous. Yes. It's the, massive. Like, we used the rest and made like normal size. <laughs> so after letting the cinnamon rolls rising for 30 minutes on the countertop, it is time for the oven. 375 degrees for 20 minutes. So in a pot, we start with a quarter cup of butter. Then we add eight ounces of cream cheese and melt them together. Then when it's nicely melted, you add two cups of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and three tablespoon of whipping cream. You thought that was it? No. There's another topping that also goes in the cinnamon rolls. 
This one starts with four tablespoons of butter. When the butter is melted, you add half a cup of brown sugar and half a cup of whipping cream. After boiling for five minutes, it's time to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and half a teaspoon of salt. So after 20 minutes in the oven, you take them out to cover them with foil. And then back in for another 10 minutes. Just putting some of the filling back on top. And can we just appreciate the size of those buns? My face is that big. <laughs> this is a normal size plate. Okay, right. first of all, look at the size of my face. Look at the size of the cinnamon. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It smells amazing. It's got two different sauces on it. Of course. So one is cream cheese and the other one's like a brown sugar, I don't know, brown yeah. sugar glaze. Brown sugar sauce glaze. Yeah. So we have to try both. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Okay, anyways, I'm just gonna cut a section. It smells so good. Okay, so a little bit of bold glaze <laughs> and let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. There's like so sugary and buttery and oh my god. I love cinnamon. This is better. That's the best cinnamon bun I've ever mm -hmm. had in my life. Mm -hmm. From far. Like easily. Oh, you gotta get the gooey part now. Yeah. It is not the easiest recipe we ever made. It took made. a lot longer than we it, thought, it, Yeah, so I'm gonna link the recipe down below. Make sure that you follow all the steps because there's quite a bit of steps. It is totally feasible and it is delicious. Mmm. Like the, I don't even know. Wow. That's like a 10. 15, 20, 100. <laughs> or that. Amazing. Wow. So look at this. We're. We're almost done with it, but we need, we have to stop. It is so rich and so good and so buttery and sugary. It is like, it is the perfect cinnamon bun. The size is ridiculous, though you don't have to make them as big, but I mean, it's supposed to be a giant cinnamon roll. And like therefore. the middle is gooey and the outside is not crispy, but there's two types of people, you get both. Yeah, and I like, for me, like this is the best Disney recipe we have made so far. Yeah. This it is, actually is. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So 10 out of 10. Yeah. Like, I don't even want to throw that out. I like, I want to save it to give to everyone. I know we need to share. We need to share with everyone we know. Like actually, <laughs> <laughs> none anyway. of this is garbage. It's going to people. <laughs> oh yeah. Everyone needs to know about this cinnamon roll. Oh my goodness. Yes. Anyway, guys, so we're going to now wait for uh, the sugar the sugar crash. <laughs> <laughs> and on that, well, don't forget to like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel. Again, the recipe is going to be a link down below. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and see you guys next time for another great Disney recipe.